Hello everybody and welcome to another smoothie update. Today I want to show off something new I've created and you'll see it very shortly. You can see it from all the way over here. See that structure way off there in the distance? That my friends is the lighthouse. Here let me change the render distance to far because then you'll be able to actually see it. Yes, I've had the idea to build this lighthouse for quite a while now. And now, I've actually done it. So, let's wait for all these chunks to load. And yes, we can see it from here. It's a long, thin construction that has a uh, lower and upper observation deck, as you can see. Alright, well... Let's take a look at it a little closer. It's hard to really appreciate it from this uh, distance. Yes, I built it just below the uh, letters, or just behind the letters, rather, of my name. So let's get a little closer. Stand on top of our farm here and look over. Yes, so from here we can actually see it on medium, even though it is a bit hazy. Yeah, this is... The idea of this was to build a cool tower that has a great view. So let's go over and take a look at it. You probably also noticed that I planted a whole bunch of trees in this area. The idea behind that being um, I wanted to harvest some wood, so I wanted to plant my own forest. Yes, I need to landscape this, but anyway, that's not important right now. We are going to walk underground here to get to the other side where our wonderful lighthouse awaits us. Yes, it took me about three hours of work to complete this lighthouse. That includes the gathering of the wood because you probably couldn't tell from that distance but the lighthouse is made primarily from wood although stone is used at the base and the landings. Cobblestone that is. So um it was very fun. I created it live on a stream. If you want to see, if you have three hours to kill and you want to see me um, build it, go to livestream.com slash bonecanoe86 and it's saved there under Lighthouse. Well, this right here is the basement of the Lighthouse. Um, I Well, it's not really a basement. This, I needed some extra stone, so I just mined it out from here. But walk up here. You can see this goes all the way up to the top of the Lighthouse. But before we go up there, let's take a look around here. This is the base. Little bed, furnace, crafting table was used during the construction. Yes, you can, uh, as you can see, we're below it and it looks a lot larger from this side. Yes, we are now, now here from behind the letters. I think I was at least partially inspired to make this at this location based on um, the secret base in one of the Austin Towers movie which was behind the Hollywood sign but um, yeah this is definitely much less subtle than that was and that's coming from uh, and that's saying a lot because Dr. Evil was not really known for his subtlety but anyway it's time to take a closer look alright first second floor not really anything at all to speak of at the second floor. Um, but let's make our way up to the first landing. Yes, I wanted to make this with two landings. Up here we have glowstone. We have two different elements of light, seeing that this is a lighthouse. And glowstone is the first element. Um, so as you can see there, there's my monument to, my, to uh, Microsoft over there. And you can see a pretty good ways. I don't have the render distance on far. But let's look back at um, Farmhouse and put the render distance back on far for a moment so we can admire the view. Yeah, it's quite nice all we can see from here. And um, once I build the Great Library, which will be on the other side of Farmhouse from here, you'll be able to see that from. Um, this lighthouse and that will be pretty epic 
Yeah, it's a it's quite a view here. And we're not even at the top yet. Alright, at risk of everything crashing, we're gonna walk around and take a look. Yes. Even on the best machines, uh, rendering it far takes a while. But that's alright. Go back to medium here. Because you can still see, you know, at least a, a hazy visage of the original um, of the base. See the boathouse down there. You can even see the bed if you look hard enough. There's that little house I built down there. But anyway, that's the uh, lower landing, and now we're going to make our way up to the upper landing. I guess climbing up through this narrow tunnel here. And here we are. And of course, the other element of light is the birthing, burning netherrack. I thought that was most appropriate for a lighthouse. But yes, we are now literally on the top of the world. If you look up there, you see that see that um, block with the torches on it? That block is literally as high as you can go in Minecraft. You cannot build above uh, level 128. We're above the clouds and everything. Yes. And I built a little deck that goes all the way around. This landing, needless to say, was meant to be bigger than the other one. I love the thing, the fact that you can't fall off. Uh, with railings there. It's very much a comfort. Because I gotta tell you, while building this, that was a scary experience because you're essentially perched over ground that's like a billion bi miles below you and you're freaking out of falling of it every moment and you're holding the shift key just hoping that you won't fall. <laughs> but fortunately, I only fell three times. Each of those three times sucked, of course, but at least I lived. All right, we're gonna try rendering it on far for a minute to see if we can see um, the base from here. Yes, we have to watch through the clouds here. But yes, there it is, our base. You can even see the sugarcane and the cactus from all the way up here. And you see that um, large sand dune in the distance over there. That pretty much is the start of um, where the Great Library will be in the future. So, yeah, you can base, vaguely see right there is a piece of burning netherrack. That's going to be one of the cornerstones for the Great Library. So, you can see that from here. You can see the little bridge here. Let's go back to normal just to create less stress here. But yeah, this was fun as hell to build. Like I said, it took three hours, including the gathering of wood and other materials. It um, starts just above sea level and goes all the way to the top of the world. That's one more glowstone here. So let's drop down again. Yay, all the way down through the tower. Passing through the lower landing. All right. Passing through the base, and now into the basement. All right. Yes, right leads back to the um, to the base, and or left leads back to the base, and right leads out here. I just love looking at this from below, and you can see the clouds um, passing between the two decks. Yes, I've had comments that this looks like a giant screw. And at some point, when this wasn't done yet, somebody even told me it looked like a giant condom. Well, I don't know. It would be a very awkward condom, I think. But at least a giant screw would be accurate, especially considering the shape of the um, upper deck. But yes, I'm very proud of this. This is the first, really the first purely aesthetic building that I've built that was large scale like this. I mean, this is... um. Definitely a um, definitely a monument that is uh, very noticeable. So, yes, I hope that everyone th um, is as pleased with it as I am pleased with myself. Yes, I'm I'm falling off the world here as I pat myself on the back. But let's uh, 
Let's slow paddle away. Yes, it's kind of cool how I did this because it's like the creator credits are right below the actual structure. And now the night is falling, we'll be able to uh, see it from our base at night, which would be very cool. So let's paddle on back here. Yes, I definitely need to um, begin uh, landscaping the front of this base because it's kind of kind of gnarly right now with all the creeper explosions that have happened. But you know, it's not a huge priority. I mean, that's only aesthetic anyway. I love my sugar cane. I will refrain from putting you through another harvest of it now, but I've begun a second chest because my first chest is full. Yes. And I recently harvested all my wheat, so that's why everything is quite young. As you can see, a complete harvest will leave me with this many seeds and that much wheat, so... Do that enough times, I'll fill up that chest as well. But anyway, it's time to look upon our creation at night. And by our, of course, I mean my, because none of you helped. No, not at all. All right, I love walking on the roof of the farm. Oh crap! Then get rid of him. Goodbye, spider. Yes, I want to take over the world with a legion of spiders. Ooh, spiders! Anyway, here it is at night in all its glory. It's a beautiful sight for a lighthouse. It really doesn't make too much light, you know. I'm pretty sure if if someone was sailing, they would not be able to see it until they were literally right upon it. But that doesn't matter. I think it's pretty cool. Let's risk one more, um, one more rendering at far. Something tells me it should go a little bit more smoothly at night. But yeah, just one more, one more look at the lighthouse at night while we uh, stand here on top of the farm. Yes, I'm very, uh, very happy about, uh, very happy about this, as you can tell. Yeah, and um, where do I go from here? Well, I, like I said, I'm going to start the Great Library soon, but I'm also interested if you are, if you want to see more video of cave exploration, because there are not just one, but two caves that I've discovered that um, promise to be epic in scope. And um, I've marked off where they are, and I'm up to exploring them on camera, if that's, what, if that's something you'd be interested in seeing. So please tell me if you'd like to see that. Well, anyway, that's all I have to uh, show you for this video. So, I hope you enjoyed it. And I will see you all next time.